Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? What was your name? Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh. Um, you play any sports or anything? I play football. Football. Wow, great. What position do you play? Linebacker. Linebacker. Wow. So you going to come to UK and play next year, man? I hope so. You going to give me some free tickets? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Hey, I appreciate that. Give me some free tickets. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a skin fold test on you. And what a skin fold test does is that it measures your body fat. Okay. The reason why body fat is important, knowing how much you have, because you have a high body fat, that means you have increased chance for cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and, and uh, type, type uh, one or two diabetes. Mm -hmm. And a good satisfactory range of body fat for men, 10 to 22%, and for women, from 20 to 32%. Okay. So that's why it's good to, uh, to measure body fat. And the way I'm gonna measure your body fat is, is with the skin fold device. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pinch on your skin have you ever had a grandma pinch? You had a grandma pinch. Mm -hmm. Those are the worst pinches in the world. But it's nothing like that. <laughs> I remember those grandma pinches. They hurt a lot. They were but, <laughs> I know. So I'm not pinching you like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a nice little, little pinch. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to take the caliber. I'm going to I'm going to um, clap on top of that skin fold. Okay. And it's going to give me a measurement. And then after those nine measurements on different areas of your body, mm -hmm. I put it into a quick a equation and it tells what your, your body fat is. So this is that's what the purpose of this. So let's begin. So the first measurement is your abdominal. So it's gonna be two centimeters right of your um, umbilicus. So about two right here. And I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it twice. Okay. So the number is 18. I'm gonna write that down. All right, let's do it again. And this one's 16. Excellent. Next, I'm gonna do your triceps, mm -hmm. and it's between your shoulder and elbow. So you can turn around. Right. right at 10, 11, 12. I can write that down, 12. Let's do it again. Tricep. And it's right at, at 12. Excellent. Next is your bicep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna measure the belly of the bicep. So now you're just gonna hold it down like this. Right at eight. Excellent. Next one, measure again so I can get a good average. And this is 11. Next is your chest. I'm going to measure right across the auxiliary line of the nipple. So here right at five do it again looks like four next is your calf so do the midline of the medial border of your calf. So if you can put your leg, uh, one leg up there so I can measure your calf. Excellent. Twenty. I'm gonna to take it again. Uh, 
It's like uh, 20 again. Excellent. Next is the mid accelerator. So right across the side board, sternal body, and the mid axillary line. So go right across the side board process. Hold your arm up just a little. Okay, get in right here. Like five. Do it again. Five, six, seven. Next is a subscapular, is your back. So if you can turn around, and if you can put your arm in the back right here, that'll flex your shoulder blade. It'll move your shoulder. Excellent. Let's turn on just a little bit more. All right, go ahead and put your arm down. Ten. All right, put your arm back again. Excellent. All right, go ahead and put your arm back. Nine. Next is a super iliac. Uh, that's on top of the iliac crest. So basically on top of your hip bone. So I'm gonna take it right here. Eleven. Last one is your thigh, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do it the midline of the thigh. So if you can put your leg up here, put your pants leg up. Fifteen. All right, we'll take another one. Sixteen. Excellent. All right, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you.